Today's topic is how to treat drug-resistant tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is a lung disease caused by Mycobacterium tuberculosis bacteria that primarily affects the lungs. Most forms of tuberculosis are treated by antibiotics, but if your tuberculosis isn't responding to medications, then you have a form known as drug-resistant tuberculosis. In most cases, this happens when you don't stick to your treatment plan. This means that the bacteria responsible for your infection is resistant to the standard of treatment that you use to get rid of it. Who's at risk of getting drug-resistant TB? You can be at risk of developing tuberculosis if you have a weakened immune system. Those who are at risk include infants and young children, people living with HIV, people taking immunosuppressants, people with certain chronic conditions like diabetes, kidney disease, autoimmune diseases. Those at risk of getting drug-related TB are those who live in an area where tuberculosis is prevalent, those who have been exposed to someone with drug-resistant tuberculosis, those with a history of the infection, or those who have stopped taking their medications. Types of drug-resistant tuberculosis. The type of drug-resistant TB you have depends on the drug you may be resistant to. Such medications are called first-line treatments. The types of drug-resistant TB are, number one, monoresistant. In this case, you are resistant to only one first-line TB treatment. Two, polyresistant. You are resistant to more than one first-line treatment, except rifampin and isoniazid. Number three, multidrug resistant. You are resistant to more than one type of drug, especially isoniazid and rifampin. Number four, rifampin resistant. You're resistant to only rifampin. Number five, pre-extensivity drug resistant. You are resistant to rifampin, isoniazid, and fluoroquinolone, or a second-line injection like canamycin, amikacin, and capriomycin. Symptoms of drug-resistant tuberculosis. Fatigue, weakness, coughing up mucus or blood, a worsening cough that lasts for about three weeks, fever, loss of appetite, night sweats, unintentional weight loss. The symptoms of drug-resistant TB are the same as TB. They just last longer and do not get better despite treatment. How is drug-resistant tuberculosis diagnosed? It's diagnosed with a combination of lung x-rays, blood tests, and skin tests. More tests will be needed to determine drug-resistant TB. This involves taking a culture of bacteria and exposing it to various drugs in the laboratory. This usually takes two to three days. How is drug-resistant tuberculosis treated? It's possible to treat drug-resistant TB, but you won't be able to take some frontline medications. Treatment will be given based on the type of drug-resistant TB you have. It usually involves a combination of multiple antibiotics, and this depends on many factors. Your doctor will consider a lot of options like using a different first-line treatment. Fluoroquinolone, this is prescribed only for more complicated infections. It has serious side effects that affect the joints, muscles, and nervous system. Betaquiline linezolid pretominid combination therapy, this therapy may help after using it for six months. Can drug-resistant tuberculosis be prevented? The best way to prevent drug-resistant TB is to keep yourself safe from contracting TB-causing bacteria. You can do this by keeping up with recommended vaccinations and drugs prescribed by your doctor. In case you come close to someone with an active TB infection, you should immediately see your doctor. Your doctor will recommend isoniazid if they find out that you have latent TB, which means it has not yet developed into the disease. Also, you can prevent drug-resistant TB by taking your medications as prescribed. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.